Hello and welcome to our daily devotions here on the Doncaster Methodist Circuit YouTube channel. For a while at least, I'm sad to say, that these will be the last in this series of daily devotions. We had hoped that we'd be able to sustain these daily devotions as we came out of the pandemic, but for a while at least, it seems that that's not really possible. So today is something of a milestone, and it will, as I say, for a while at least, uh, be the last of our daily devotions. That being the case, I want to take this opportunity to say a very special thank you to you, especially if you're one of the people who has supported these devotions by taking uh, part of them in the sense of uh, viewing them every day, uh, for the last 18 months or so. Uh, thank you for your support and some of you from time to time have sent us feedback and you've encouraged us by telling us how valuable these daily devotions have been to you. That's meant so much to us and uh, again I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to my colleagues on the ministry team too for all of the hard work that they put into in making these daily devotions possible. And there have been others too outside of the ministry team who have also helped, uh, especially on a Monday. Uh, most notably, of course, Pam Hankinson uh, and before Pam, uh, Agnes Sam. So thank you to these um, for all of your contributions uh, to these daily devotions. As we draw to a close uh, i thought it'd be good perhaps if we shared the worship at home material for tomorrow uh, that's produced by the methodist church the uh, ministries vacations and uh, worship section so i'll lead us in these prayers so let us pray wherever we are you are with us lord Make us aware of your loving presence with us now. Grant us your peace and fill us with wonder and joy. Amen. If you want to, you can pause the video here and you can uh, ask YouTube to play to you the hymn Jesus the Name High Over All. Or you could just read the words in your own hymn book. So, let us pray together. Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all your people on earth, with all the company of heaven, and with all creation, we praise and adore you. You are the creator and sustainer of the universe, and yet you come to us and invite us to approach you as our loving Father. We acknowledge our failure to love you as we should, the weakness of our faith and the half-heartedness of our service. But we recognise that through Christ we are forgiven and made welcome. So we come in his name to worship you and pray your Holy Spirit will guide us and empower us to become the people you created us to be. Amen. Now the reading from Mark chapter 8 and verses 27 to 38. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist and, and others Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. He said all of this quite openly. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, 
he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind on, not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to be my disciples, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Thanks be to God for his holy word. Amen. According to the Gospel writers, Jesus asked many questions, many for, in fact, than he answered. This was one of the things that made him an effective teacher. Rather than giving people simple answers that required no further thought, he asked questions that made them think for themselves. Not only did this help them find the answers to their own questions, it made them reflect more deeply about their relationship with God. In our reading today, Jesus asked his disciples two questions. The first one was easy to answer. Who do people say that I am? The, dis the disciples must have had many conversations with folk they met who had their own ideas about Jesus. They were able to report that people thought perhaps, hmm, he was John the Baptist reincarnated, or Elijah, or hmm, one of the prophets. The second question was much more challenging. But who do you say that I am? The answer to this question required faith and commitment. Peter was the first to answer. You are the Messiah. That is, the anointed one sent by God to save his people. Peter had perceived the truth about Jesus, but still had much to learn about its implications, as we see in the following verses. Who do you say that I am? is a question all of us need to consider. The answer we give will have an impact on everything else in our lives. And if this is the case, perhaps it's a good moment just to sit quietly before the next set of prayers. Let's think of people and situations near or far that particularly need our prayers today. And this set of intercessions comes from the Methodist worship book, Covenant Service. Loving God, hear us as we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Make us all one that the world may believe. Inspire and lead all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. Establish justice and peace among all people. Have compassion on all who suffer from any sickness, grief or trouble. Deliver them from their distress. We praise you for all your saints who have entered your eternal glory. Bring us all to share in your heavenly kingdom. Lord God, you have helped us by your grace to make these prayers, and you have promised through Christ our Lord that when two or three agree in his name, you will grant what they ask. Answer now your servants' prayers according to their needs. In this world, grant that we may truly know you, and in the world to come, graciously give us eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
again you might want to just press pause and bring up another tab uh, on YouTube and and listen to or watch a, a video of the hymn He is Lord, He is Lord. And now as our daily devotions seem for the time being to have run their course. I leave you as superintendent of the Doncaster Methodist Circuit with this prayer of blessing. May the love of the Lord Jesus draw us to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus strengthen us in his service. May the joy of the Lord Jesus fill our souls. And may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and abide with you always. Amen. And bye for now.